about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions Day 14. <sighs> Hello everyone. I hope that you're all okay and yeah. <laughs> I am starting this very, very, very late in the day. Um I woke up with I think the start of a migraine this morning. About seven o'clock I woke up and I was not well at all. I quickly took some paracetamol. I got shut, some more shut eye. I woke up around nine o'clock and I felt better, as in the headache was gone. But I still felt a little bit not myself. So I've not done anything today. I've just been resting and trying to shifty whatever this is. And yeah, hubby's on his way home from work. So <laughs> I am sorry. Because I really don't know what I'm going to be able to give you today. Uh, not much by the looks of it. I will do my best to... I know I have a cooking video that I can add in. I'm, I'm just sorry. Um, there will be... Let me just tell you. Now that everything's sorted with Lauren and all of that weight's shifted off my shoulders. I've got a busy few days. Um, my mum's coming over tomorrow, which I'm super, super excited to see her. Uh... But because that's going to be the last time I see her before Christmas, uh, I need to make sure that her because her birthday is on Christmas Day. Can you believe that? So I I have her gifts. I just need to wrap them. Um, so I need to do that today. It is Jamie Lee's birthday on Friday, so I need to wrap her gifts. Then it is my husband's birthday on Monday, so I need to wrap his gifts. And I can't do any of that on camera because they watch my vlogs. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, I don't know what to do. But I am planning. So I love cinnamon rolls. So I'm going to be making some of those with you guys. Um, I was going to make some uh, shortbread. Um, there was a couple of other things I wanted to do. What I wanted to ask your opinion on is, would you like just that time so at the moment what I tend to do is I will video me cooking but then I s snippy out so you just get the short to the point bits rather than this boring um whole long winded me faffing <laughs> would you like me just to do that with like the cinnamon buns for example just do the, the you know get to the point these are the ingredients this step this step this step etc like how i normally do my um food videos or would you prefer me to just do it in a real time uh, obviously i would cut out the cooking parts of it and if there's any proving to do i wouldn't make you wait an hour <laughs> but what i mean is would you like to see just the i don't know the warts and all i guess um they might be really long videos that's the only thing yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe watch. Um, well, you saw the crumble. See, that's that's quite long. Wind. Well, it's, it's three minutes. So or, I don't know. You you decide and let me know, and I'll go with the majority vote. How about that? I know that there's a few of you that are poorly at the moment, or you have family members that are poorly. You've asked for prayer. I am doing that. Trust me, you are in my prayers. Um, and even if you haven't asked for prayer, I pray for a general. God knows what our concerns are, so I don't need to know any know any major details. Uh, if you could keep my granddaughter Indy in your prayers, uh, Brett texted me last night to say that she hasn't been very well. She had um, she got temperature, quite flushed cheeks. She doesn't have any other symptoms at the moment because uh, I know the horrendous panic of this scarlet fever at the moment uh, as one of the subscribers grand 
son has that at the moment which is just awful and I am praying so hard honestly but if you could keep her in your prayers I really really appreciate that um it's just awful isn't it? it's such a worry for everyone at the moment you know you get over one thing and it's another thing and oh I don't know so I just pray protection over all of you honestly genuinely genuinely mean that I hope that you're all okay I know that I'm you know I've got my glasses on because I just I'm just conscious about <laughs> I don't know if any of you suffer with migraines but I haven't had a full-on one for years I I used to suffer severely with them but um years and I'm, not, I'm talking like 15 plus years ago I went to see a new doctor and I said I can't keep doing this my husband's having to take time off work to look after the children because I'm good for nothing and um he said that there was a new trial out for beta blockers funny that isn't it it worked I was on them for six months weaned off them and honestly it I get I get them every, very rarely now, very, very rarely. So, yeah, that was um, was amazing. But they're the most awful thing ever. And they seem to take it out of you for days. Like, I can't explain it. You would know if you, if you have them. It's like, it's almost like the worst hangover ever. Really strange. Anyhow, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> really waffling on then about my medical history. <laughs> It's lady time. I know that gave all of you a bit of a chuckle, but I, yeah, <laughs> I, I guess I'm just a bit shy and I don't, don't know. I know it's a, a normal thing, but crikey, I need to grow up. <laughs> right, let me just remove this notification because I can't concentrate when those things popping up. Um, so we're going to start with the scripture of the day day 14 i can't believe this that's why i need to go with this cooking because i had all these plans for you and i'm doing nothing <laughs> and i'm really sorry really really am i did do uh, jj's hair last night oh my goodness i love it i cut so much off this she had about oh cool blimey about that much cut for hair amazing um yeah, it just, it took so long. I, I mean, I've been trained in hairdressing, but I haven't worked in a salon for forever. So my, I'm not, I'm not in it anymore. I, I just do what, you know, but she seemed to really like it. And I thought it looked beautiful. I literally took a picture of just before I started dodgy during <laughs> and then the after, but again, it was nighttime. The lighting wasn't great. So it's going to be like 10 seconds worth of footage. Okay, let's give you the scripture. Can you see that? Sorry, I'm sniffing. My cat's been around me and I haven't taken my antihistamine yet. Jesus is prophet. By what did he, by what he did and, and said, he showed that he was a powerful prophet who pleased God and all the people. And that is Luke 24, 19. That is my hubby home from work. <laughs> Give him a cooch in a minute. I'm going to do this. This is falling apart. <laughs> so is this. <laughs> so we're on day 14. I don't know why I do that. It's out of a habit. What? Yeah, All right, darling, I'll see you in a minute. Day 14. Mm. Just get this bit in there. Okay. Oh, sorry, I looked at it before you. How rude. So it's the Boots Hyaluronic <laughs> Acid Moisturiser. That's cool. I got the uh, I got a serum, didn't I? I got something in this range. That's good. Give those go. See if they work. Can't hurt, can it? I um had some points on my beauty advantage card, and um, my lovely friend Karen, 
if you're watching she's just recovering from an operation so sending you lots of love darling she sent me a little video because i'm still obviously suffering with my scalp and um of this product eucrine or you I, i'm butchering that i know i am if i can find an image i'll pop it on the screen um so i ordered the scalp solution lotion and the shampoo to give that a go because actually when i went on to boots there was 25 percent off of those products as well so let's hope and pray that they work and i've just been notified today that they've left the warehouse so <laughs> So what am I going to do? I'm just staring at it like... Um, I'm going to do this bottom one. Complete that row. <clears throat> and we have got number 10. I can see it. Faithfulness. Amen to that. It's quite heavy. <laughs> I think I know what this is. It is a bottle of wine. That is a bottle of wine, isn't it? Don't want to embarrass myself. Yeah, rosé. How lovely. Oh, I can't drink that today with this headache, but I will enjoy that this weekend. So I will get some cooking videos out to you, I promise. I know that a couple of you have said about doing that. And thank you for those of you that were very kind about my apple crumble. Um, it was a kind of, yeah, I, I do wing a lot of stuff, that's the thing. So <laughs> I, um, yeah, that's just how I, how I roll. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I was surprised to know that some of you haven't made an apple crumble before. But the thing is, you can buy such good ones in the supermarkets now that... But what I will say is, if you are if you love well, my, my hubby, mainly his favourite bit is the crumble, they just never put enough on, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, he likes it like that. So yeah, give it a whirl. Let me know. If you do make anything, please let me know. Because like... <laughs> I haven't bothered with the cooking things because I didn't think any of you were that interested. <laughs> but I will be doing some. So there you go. But yeah, if you let me know how you want that to be, I'd really appreciate that. I'm going to love and leave you there and see what I can get together in this video for you guys. Uh, hopefully, it will get better. <laughs> I love you all. Lots of love. See you later. Guess he stopped thinking about me Yeah, yeah I don't know what he's thinking When he says that he's been driving all night, all day To celebrate Christmas with me But he's not here And I'm not there I don't know what he want now but I don't care
had more of your smile What if the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope late and I have just come home Martin and me we went to pick up a few um, bits and bobs for Christmas presents and I can't show you because they watch the vlogs. I am going to insert Elf on the Shelf right now and hopefully I'll do better for you tomorrow. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit drained. Be fine. Know that your life matters and you guys are so important and you matter so much. You're going to see me tomorrow and I'm hoping I'm going to do better. What that's going to entail, I have no idea. We'll find out together. <laughs> Just not waking up with a migraine would be fab, wouldn't it? And then, you know, at least I've got a few extra hours to figure out something at least. Uh, stay safe if it is snowing where you guys are because it is deadly icy out there at the moment like really bad I think that's all I have to say <laughs> sorry don't forget to let me know about the cooking situation what you'd like to see and I will catch up with you tomorrow lots and lots of love God bless everyone there be no wars Mm-hmm.